So I'm trying to learn Konkani, which is my native language. And one thing that I realized recently is that it doesn't have a word for thank you, but it actually has two different words for farts. I tweeted this and it got pretty popular, so allow me to quickly explain. I come from Goa, which is a small state on the west coast of India. Konkani is one of the major languages spoken in the state. I grew up in Mumbai and I only grew up speaking English, so I'm trying to learn my native language now, which is hard, but it's interesting and fun as well. It really does blow my mind to see how diverse Konkani can be as a language. This is just a little map of dialects in the state of Goa itself. Konkani spoken outside Goa can differ. My family speaks Shashti Konkani by the way. So our village is located in Shashti or Salset. So you really can't literally say thank you in Konkani. But there is a really common substitution used. It's called Diobare Koru. Closely translates to God bless you and that's what you say instead of thank you. But I guess there's no way to really thank an atheist. There is another word you can use. It's Obrigad but it isn't really Konkani. It is a Portuguese loan word. Portuguese colonized Goa for approximately 450 years. So there are a lot of Portuguese words that are commonly used in Goa. Obrigad, thank you, Kuler, spoon, cuidad, care, and curaçao, heart. There are two different words in Konkani for the type of fat. The first one is called pad, which is basically the loud farts that everyone can hear. And the second one is called fusco, the silent farts that are usually kind of stinky. Tell me something funny or interesting about your native language.